silent. Shh, it's silent. with this one. Yeah. I enjoyed it. It's not perfect. No. Let's start with the performances because oh. the performances were fantastic. All of them were. I mean, not a dud in there. I thought no. they were all fantastic mm -hmm. performances. We were talking about how it's hard to do a show about oh. the whole life of a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because... Especially his life, so much happened, and it seemed like so much formed the man that we knew as Charlie Chaplin, so they wanted to make that part of it, yeah. which makes total sense. And then that whole McCarthyism thing happened, which I didn't know about. Me I mean, either. I'm not surprised, just because that sure. shit happened in that era. Yeah. A lot of people got caught in that. But the first act and the second act were so different. Because the first act was like kind of just like following him through his life and there wasn't a lot of conflict besides the fact that like he's still like a lost little boy because his mother abandoned him and that internal conflict, I didn't feel like there was very much external conflict where he was just sort of like, I got this job offer, I'm in America, now I'm a big movie star, now this girl wants to marry me, oh wait, you know like, yeah, I don't know, there wasn't, yeah, there wasn't, Especially the first act finale. Like, usually a first act finale is, like, kind of like a cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I sort of thought that first act finale would be some sort of, oh, I got everything I wanted, and it didn't, it's not turning out to be what it was. Yeah. Which it, no, I was going to say it sort of was, but it wasn't. Because at first, that's where I thought that was going. Was going. There was like a Charlie Chaplin lookalike contest. And right. right before that started, he was like, everyone wants to be me, except me. And like the person that they want to be isn't me anyway. It's this character right. I've created. But then it was like a celebration of that character. Right. Which Instead. is awesome. Well, it was just, it felt like they set up something and we thought we knew where they were going we're like yeah that makes sense for first act finale they set it up in this way but then it wasn't that and yeah. it was just sort of like huh oh. it was like a cool number it was a really cool oh, yeah beautiful like totally ballet am. sort of a Enjoyed charlie it. chaplin ballet that yeah. highlighted the ensemble great. oh they were yeah great it fantastic. just was like a little, a little unsatisfactory as far as an act one finale yeah. the second act there is an external conflict, which is Hedda Hopper and like McCarthyism and stuff like that coming in, but like it, it, it was just so different from how the first act was because the first act sort of was just like happy go lucky following him along his day. Besides, you know, every once in a while when Christian Noll would pop up with that little boy, <laughs> you know, and he would be like, "Mama, mom, mom," like it was really sad, but. It kind of felt like it was like the first act. The first act took us like he moves to America, he starts making movies, he makes this movie, he makes this movie, he makes this movie, he makes this movie. Yeah. And then the second act was like here's highlights of like 30 years. Bing, 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 yeah. bing. And just sort of poked our head into his life every once in a while and. I don't know. But then the other thing is that there were some really, really good numbers in the second oh, act. Oh, yeah. Like, I thought some of the most strong material was actually in the second act, which was, like, more confusing or jarring plot-wise. But then we had the best, I would say, one of the, pretty much the best number in the show. I thought that Jen Colella had, like, the best number mm. in the entire show. Um, certainly the best. Uh, crafted musical theater song Absolutely. out of any of them all falls down because yeah. her character yeah it was great and it's like you brought in kind of like a villain and you see her motivation and like also she's doing like a banging character like a badass character voice also the bitch can sing mm -hmm. I mean it all came together yeah, yeah. And also a number that really, really worked, his 11 o'clock number was fantastic yeah, too. really good. Um, but that is like what I thought the first act finale would be, especially right. because in the end he realizes that he, there's like this running theme of what happens when you get the life that you wished for. Sure. And in the end he realizes he did, even though it was like, there were f***-ups throughout the way, 
So if that first act had been like, oh no, I have the life I thought I wished for, and now it's not what I wanted. Guys. The other number that I really loved in the second act was the the boxing ring. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That That was was really great, too. Awesome. That was, Mm -hmm. I love that. It was so well done. Yeah, and that was a way to let us know what happened and defined him Mm -hmm. quickly. Um, and maybe like you were saying in the first act that was like, this is the, a movie that he made, this is... And I think it's because they wanted us to see him as the tramp because Rob McClure is amazing as Charlie Chaplin as the tramp. Yeah. And so I totally get that. Right. But I feel like as far as a story went, maybe that would have been easier if that had been tightened up. Right. I love Christiano. I'm just gonna put that out there. She's amazing. Listen, she's amazing. I was a little frustrated though because I was like, she's amazing. And then it was like she had this awesome scene at the beginning and this great song and like this great character that she had done and like developed and it was fantastic. And then they were like, hey, you know that scene you did at the beginning that was awesome? Do, do it, it again. Do it a hundred times. And then do it again. And then do a couple lines here and then a couple lines from the end and then do that one again and that one again and that one again. Yeah. So she really only had one scene that she just replayed like ten times. Sometimes she came in and played an actress playing the mother. Mm-hmm. Which was cool, because then it was like Christiane Noel wig changes, which mm. was, I mean... In costume changes. Absolutely. I mean, we love that stuff. But ooh, I was there's a quick like, change in this show. Ooh, there's a great quick change. An on-stage quick change. Mm-hmm. I mean, we love quick changes. I mean, I felt like a little bit, because of the way it was structured, both in... Both in Christian Noel and Aaron Mackey, I was like, you are wasting them. Yeah. They're wasted mm-hmm. in this. Christian Noel, Aaron Mackey, she's fantastic. Yeah. Aaron Mackey was on stage for like 10 minutes, you guys. And her character aged like 40 years in 10 minutes also. Because she came on at 18. Also, Charlie Chaplin's a pedophile. This is my psychological assessment of him. Right, no, it's good. Which is very exact, because I know a lot about psychology. Um, Is that this is the the woman that he pictured as his mother. Yeah. Even though she was a little older when she abandoned him. But, like, I'm sure in his brain, she was young and beautiful and perfect. And so he sees these, like, young, beautiful, perfect 17-year-olds. Here's the thing. Is that, like... When we're sitting talking about it, I'm finding all these things more on the negative side oh, to sure. talk about. But I really enjoyed it. While we it. were watching well, it, I was watching absolutely. It. I absolutely was enjoying yeah. it. I if really you were really analyzing it, yeah. but if you don't sit there afterwards and analyze it. I thought it was great. I certainly think that Rob McClure's performance is not to be missed. Oh, absolutely. Like, don't miss that shit. Mm-mm. And as a bonus, Christian moves in there. Yeah. Absolutely. And an adorable child! Oh, uh, two adorable children. Zachary Unger. Child Tony. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was amazing. He was amazing. He was so adorable and so good and like... Uh, Made us cry. Uh, just my god. He's freaking fantastic. And that Usher kid serving child actor realness. Ethan, I can't pronounce your last name, but you were amazing. Love it. Amazing. I loved the costumes and I loved the colors. Yeah. I mean, I really, I thought the art direction was spot on. You know what I noticed? The lighting design. The lighting was really good. I really liked the lighting design. It was really, really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. It was fantastic. I think this show succeeded in almost every single way except for like a little bit of a muddled book. Yeah, absolutely. Everything else was great. Mm Mm-hmm. I concur. Go see it! Oh, I love a Patter song. Me too. First, let me tell what we're gonna do. You're gonna do this, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do this.